Hey everyone, in the news this week, there was an acid attack in London, and I remember witnessing one of those when I lived there. There were two gangs, one splashing acid, the other one throwing alkali. Unfortunately, I chose to remain neutral. There's also an article in the BBC's news page about a community centre in Yorkshire being constructed using straw-stuffed panels for insulation. The headline reads, quote, should more British homes be built using straw? To which the answer from the wolf is a resounding yes, though the three little pigs remain unconvinced. There are two sets of bad news in the art world, after some environmental protesters attempted to damage the Mona Lisa in Paris, and then in London a man died at the Tate Modern after falling from a gallery, albeit in the process he left behind a new Jackson Pollock for visitors to take gruesome pictures of. And footballer Marcus Rashford was in trouble with Manchester United after he skipped training following a 12-hour tequila drinking session. The club have said it's not acceptable behaviour, and frankly they're right, it's not acceptable to pull a sickie after a night out. If anything, that sort of drinking was part of the training prep back when George Pest played for United. And in other football news, there was violence at a West Bromwich game. The police are currently investigating whether the coins being thrown onto the pitch constituted a takeover bid or not. In other sports news, the chair of the WWE wrestling group is under a federal investigation. And I shan't go to details. Google's your friend there if you want the salacious gossip. Although I'm highly surprised that they chose to go after him for that particular crime. This is Hollywood showbiz wrestling after all. Surely you go after him for match fixing. And finally, Nicola Sturgeon was on the stand being questioned about her government's actions during COVID. At one point, she started crying and said she, quote, wish she hadn't been in charge. Well, you know, that makes two of us then, Nicola. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.